Oh hey, how you guys doing? Welcome to Penn State's Gardening Hour. Um, today we're talking about wastewater. Every day you wash your dishes, every week maybe, or every month if you like mold. Um, today we're going to talk about where that wastewater goes and how you can reuse that wastewater to grow your own spice garden. Let's go over here first though, to talk to Mike, because he'll tell you a bit about the grease trap that's connected to the sink. So the grease trap is used to keep from uh, your hose from clogging up, and it's fairly simple and inexpensive. And if you like to come over this way, I'm going to take the lid off here. And pretty much the water comes down from the sink from this tube right here. And if you look closely, you can see that the left side of the water is dirtier than the right side of the water. And this is because all the particles from noodles or any kind of food that you uh, were making that day has settled on the bottom here, and a filament of grease sits on the top. And what this is, this divider right here acts as the separation between the clean water and the dirty water. So when the dirty water fills up and filters, it'll pour into the other side where there's no uh, particles of food or anything to clog your watering system. All right, so from there it goes, uh, the clean water actually flows into our garden that we have set up right here. Uh, this is just an extremely simple setup. We have a, uh, a, wood, or a cardboard box lined with a trash bag and secured with duct tape. Uh, these are things you can find around your house. We built this entire system for under $20. And as you can see, we have the hose running here. It's a perforated hose, which just means we poked a bunch of holes in it with a knife. And um, the water flows into the garden. Now the garden's separated into two spaces as far as the soil will give us. You want as much aeration as possible in this system to promote the reactions that have the water uh, purified for the plants to take up. Um, so what we have here set up is, is a very, very, um, it's, a, it's a thin layer of gravel on the bottom, and on top of that we have a very coarse sand. You can see here the sand isn't, isn't play sand, it's actually more of a, a gravelly sand, it's a coarse sand. And that promotes the reactions that clean the water and have the plants take up the oxygen. Um, now if you zoom in here, we've had this grown for about a week now, and we'll be keeping you updated throughout our uh, project here. And so far you can see we have sprouted um, oregano up here. There's some basil down here, um, some more basil lined along these edges, and we even have cilantro starting to sprout, and that's within a week. So, you know, again, we, we built this system for, for under $20, and uh, it's a simple way to sustainably clean up your wastewater. To take the water that you'd otherwise just dump down the drain and pay for a waste processing plant to treat, and uh, make something out of it. Um, you guys stay tuned out there in YouTube land, though. We'll have some more videos coming to you, more results. And uh, please check out Pooh Water's other videos that uh, we have, and uh, we'll see you guys next time.